What's going on guys? Happy Saturday. I'm at a garage sale a day late. It started Friday and they had some really good stuff. They had some uh, retro games. They had retro game consoles, accessories. I doubt they have it. So we're gonna go take a look, see if it's still there. Probably not around here if it's listed. It was probably gone actually on Thursday. So let's go check it out. There's some things left over. I got this Atari joystick right here, 2600 joystick right here, two bucks. I'm gonna pick those up. And they have some mangas, some DVDs, some games over here that I'm just like, eh. And then Oculus Rift for 500, there you go. Some PS4 games, more manuals, mangas, keyboard, PS1 case for like 50, that was a little much. And then they had this Paps Blue Ribbon tap that I'm definitely gonna get. All right guys, so that was a quick hunt, but I'm surprised they had some game stuff left. And they actually said right before I got there, they had all the game stuff. So I missed it maybe by 30 minutes. That kind of sucks. They had Sega Genesis stuff. They had PS1, they had Super Nintendo. Not even gonna think about it because it'll just make me go, Rrr. but I was able to score some really good stuff and I got everything I wanna show you for $11. So I got this Atari controller for two bucks and it's in pretty, pretty nifty condition along with another Atari controller. This is the, um, what is this called? I just saw it, the Point Master. So two bucks right there. Well, all for 11, right? All for 11. And then I got this Atari power adapter, which is kind of hard to come by. Got that. And I went ahead and picked up this, oops, this 2009 Madden Collector's Edition. So I don't know, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna look into it. And then I got the PS1 adapter, so you can plug it in, play uh, with four people, so that's awesome. And it has the memory cards, so got that. But the coolest thing of all, all of it's cool, but I got a freaking Paps Blue Ribbon, Ribbon Beer Tap. Look at that, guys, freaking awesome. So this will go in to the, uh, make it a little bar area in my garage. And I already got those uh, beer lights from Boston Mike. So this will set up very nicely. So I don't know if this is gonna turn into a garage sale video, a thrift store video, or its own little mini video. So anyway, guys, we'll find out what happens. And if not, I'll see you soon. And so there's actually one more yard sale that I see around me so i'm gonna go check it out it doesn't look like much but you never know you always gotta ask a question where's the games where's the toys so this garage sale in particular this guy he uh told me he was a online reseller so i quickly learned that the prices were retail but has some cool stuff to look at he had a ton of sports stuff like this romo signed jersey this longhorns signed jersey Tons of stuff, those are like 200 a piece, I believe he said. And then all of these cards. So as you can see, those Pat Mahomes, they're all uh, slabbed and graded. And I think he was wanting like 10 a piece on those. And then we had some Troy Aikman, Lamar Jackson, just tons of stuff. If I was a card collector, I probably would have bunched some stuff up together to see if I could get like a bundle deal but I really wasn't feeling it because I knew it was retail, but you never know. I should have asked, but that's okay. Nothing here that I just really had to have, as you can see, goes on for days. So you sport collectors out there, this might be something for you. I enjoyed it. It was a, definitely a different kind of hunt, but there you go. Here's a few more coming up. And then we're going to switch to some packs, but these are like older packs from the 90s. And let's check those out. Coming up right meow. So here are those packs. As you can see, I think those were probably like, I don't know, a dollar or two a piece. It has some hockey, some baseball, some football, a little bit of everything. And I am back and I didn't, end up getting anything the guy was a online reseller so he uh he was pretty much by ebay maybe a little under ebay or retail whatever you want to call it 
I didn't pick up anything. He had a lot of cool sports stuff, as you could see. A bunch of signatures, a bunch of patches, uh, signed jerseys, helmets. Like, he knew what he had. But still cool to look at. Not too bad, but a bust for me, garage sale-wise. But if you're in the retail market for sports cards, I mean, he's got what you want. <laughs>